In this video, I'm going to show you how to build some pretty awesome LED tubes, which can be used for home or for some pretty fancy damn parties. A few months ago, I saw a lighting installation, which was pretty cool and thought to myself, why not try building some of these things? After doing some research, I came across a pretty cool Australian company called Entech. They sell quality LED pixel controllers, and they also sell some great quality LED strip. I'm going to be using some of their stuff in this video. So what are we going to need? In order to get started with a build like this, we're going to need a few things. Some LED strip, a controller which can control addressable pixels, something to contain the LED strip. In my case, I've repurposed some old polycarbonate LED tubes. They just had some white LED strip in there, so I've taken that out and added the addressable LED strip from Entech. You're going to need a power supply, some three or four core cable. Um, some of the newer strip has a backup data line in which you'd want to use four core cable. Um, this strip doesn't have that data line, so I've stuck with three core cable. You'll need an enclosure to keep everything in and you're going to need a few different types of connectors. So an RJ45 for the Ethernet, three pin aviation plugs that will carry your data and your power and an IAC power adapter. I've also added in a little fiber optic light tube. This allows me to tunnel the light from the Entech Pixel Octo into the front of the enclosure, which is pretty cool. Now when you've got all the components, you'll need to start piecing it together. Let's start off with the tubes. I've used some polycarbonate LED tubes, which I picked up fairly cheap secondhand. I basically want these for the shell and the aluminium strip for the heatsink inside. I had to open them up, pull out the old LED strip, and then insert the new RGB LED strip. Make sure there's no connections which are shorting on the aluminium channel, otherwise you'll be in for some bad times. I had to channel out a few spots to ensure the NTEC tape would fit well into the channels. Once I fitted the strip into the aluminium channel, I had to make cutouts on each end cap of the LED tubes in order to fit some three pin aviation plug ends. These plugs enable me to easily connect the tubes up in series for easy installation. I've also made up eight one meter lengths of lead to connect all the lights up and two three meter leads for the lights going from the controller to the first light. Once all the tubes and the plugs were finished, it's time to move on to the controller and the enclosure. The controller we use for this installation is an Entec Octo. It's a powerful little controller that can control eight universes of pixels running from two outputs. This enables you to control 680 individual pixels per output, which is perfect for running a long set of addressable pixels out in series out of the box. The controller and the pixels are both powered from the same 12 volt power supply with power running directly into the controller and the pixels. Note that there are quite a few different ways to wire this up and there's plenty of useful information on Entech's website. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look at that if you like. Each of the Octo's data outputs and the 12 volt power supply positive and negative terminals are wired into the aviation plugs on the enclosure in order to create a single connection to both power and transmit data to the pixels. This makes setting things up super easy when you're ready to go and connect up. I've also added an optical fiber light pipe which funnels the light from the Entech Octo to the front of the enclosure in order to see the status indicator at a glance. Now that we've got both the tubes, the cable connectors and the wires, it's time to get into actually using these things. There's a wide variety of software you can use to control addressable pixels, but if you want to go down the path of an Entech controller, you will get the Entech Elm software bundled together. Now what I can tell you after using this software for quite a while is that it's very easy to get your head around everything and it's quite powerful and flexible. To get started we need to hook up the unit to the computer. In my case I've connected the enclosure to a router and then the router is connected to the computer. Jump into Entech Elm, into the settings and then configure your Artnet device as per instructions via Entech. When you've configured the device to stream data via Artnet or SACN this is where the magic happens. Jump back into live view from here and you can play around with your heart's desire. I won't go into depth in terms of the configuration side within this video, but I will show you what some of the output looks like. 
Entech also have some pretty great tutorial videos, both on their software and their controllers, which I highly recommend checking out. I'll put those in the description below also. On a final note, I just want to throw a massive shout out to my good mate Jesse, who's been my partner in crime over the past couple of months building these tubes. Another big shout out to Entech, who's helped support the video and provide guidance along the way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.